take off, take flight with you. Before we never fly, but we're flying. Welcome back to another episode on Take Flight Podcast. It's episode 191 with myself, Pabilo Timbo. We'll be doing a short takeaway episode today. So it's July of 2023. We're at the midway point of the year. And I thought it would be a great opportunity to use this episode to talk a little bit about the process of a mid-year review around goal setting, raising, raising awareness around what's working well, what's not working so well, to set yourself up or your team for success in the second half of the year. Now, earlier this year, I recorded an episode, which is episode 166, where I shared the three-step process that I've used in the past and I still use on how to set goals and set yourself up for success. So if you're listening to this episode now and you haven't listened to episode 166, I'd really recommend you to go back and listen to that one because I really share a lot of information to really consider and think about when you're actually developing a process to set some goals. But one thing I spoke about in the episode and I'll sort of reintroduce into this one is around the statistics. So if you remember, only 9% of people that set goals at the start of the year actually make it through towards the end. And there's this sort of huge drop off in the nine, in sort of around 90% of people that actually quit, stop or fail within the first couple of weeks. And so the whole point of the episode was actually to tackle why, you know, that happens and, and really to provide some data points and some encouragement as to how people can actually sort of make it more towards the end of the year. And the purpose of this episode is really, I think, to talk to that 90% of people and to sort of re-energize them help them understand that we've still got six more months to go. So there is still a lot of time to actually revisit some of those goals that you may have left behind. And there's still a lot of time to become successful within your own right. Now, when it, with this mid-year review, a lot of large Fortune 500 companies run a process like this. Uh, you know, they, they do this because they want their employees, they want to ensure that their employees maintain a high performance for the remainder of the year. And it's really to sort of have that alignment on the overall direction of travel. Now, if you're part of that 9% who are in the process, you're sticking to your goals, you've been tracking really well, then excellent. You know, maybe there are some questions in this episode that can sort of also help you to further reflect and think. But speaking back to that 90%, what's the purpose of a mid-year review and why should you consider it now? And, and the whole point of this episode is really to have sort of a working session. So if you can actually get a pen and paper, that would be great and start writing some ideas uh, down. But the whole point of this is is opportunity for you to identify what goals that you set at the start of the year have actually been achieved. And they, if they haven't been achieved, that's good because then we're, we're, we're using this opportunity to raise the awareness as to why that hasn't been the case. You get a chance to reflect on the last six months and understand what's working well within yourself, what's not working so well, maybe with the people around you, your team. This you know time provides you the opportun- opportunity to actually eliminate some of the goals that you've set at the start of the year change goals so that you can maybe have a different, you know, six months. A lot of times we set goals at the start of the year that may not serve us as well. So we need to think about using these opportunities to make changes. And you're really reviewing the priorities which have which have changed during the course of the year. So much can happen in six months. It's, you know, it's worth taking the time now to really think about, okay, what do I need to do for the second half of the year? And this is about clarifying expectations um, moving forward. This can really be done, you know, as an individual or it can be done as a team. So, you know, feel free to sort of share this amongst people that you think can also benefit from this also. But really what I have, you know, in addition to episode 166, is just a series of, of prompt questions, which I'm, I'm hoping that can sort of re-energize you and steer you back on track. I think the first one, and I, and I mentioned earlier, is to understand, you know, what has worked well in the last six months and why? And the reason why you want to break down the things that are working well, and this can actually be, first of all, you may not actually have said, you know, I've actually achieved anything, but what you may have identified is that you, you're actually developing some really, really good habits. And those habits could actually serve you well to actually achieve in your goals. So we can talk about the actual goal itself, but also the habits and the, and the character that you're actually building. But the reason why it's important to first spell out what's working well is because those are the drivers that you are, raising your awareness around in terms of what you should actually keep for the remainder of the year. So I think, I think that's, that's really important. First question to really ask. The second question to ask is by this point, you know, if you have a good understanding of what gives you energy, so you, so whether you've been collecting data or not, you have started to notice the things that you naturally gravitate more towards. You naturally spend more time on without actually looking at your, your, the clock or your watch. And I think it's really, really important to understand coupled with your strengths and what's working well, 
to, to try and figure out how in the next six months you can spend more time on the things that give you energy and, and identifying the things that don't give you energy and potentially where maybe you can outsource that to somebody else or get someone else to help you sort of in doing that. Then it's also important to spell out what's not working so well. So where are you repeating the same mistakes? Where are you developing the bad you know, habits? And we often sort of, everybody's listening. We're all living busy lives relative to, to, to ourselves. And we don't necessarily take enough time to reflect and write out, you know, you know, these are the things that are tripping me up. These are the things that I'm constantly, although I want to change that habit, I'm still doing it. It's important to keep writing it out and spinning it out because you're here to raise the awareness. And I, and I, you know, I say, I'm a firm believer. Sometimes the simple power of writing it down can actually change the course because you're literally taking that opportunity to raise the awareness around. It. Now I'm also a big fan, right? So we've got what's working well, which gives you a good understanding you know, exhaust that piece of paper. What gives you energy? That's important to understand. What's not working so well? The other thing I'm also a big fan of, you get to the this point of the year and you are, and there's a big question that I've, I've also mentioned in the past is I'm a big fan of understanding at this point, what's the one thing that if you are to work on from July to December would really change the course of your life or change how this year has been perceived? Because I do empathize with, with the listeners or anyone that's listening who has perhaps had the great intention in January, they've set out a number of goals. And by the by the end of Jan, by start of February, it's kind of been very challenging and difficult to actually keep up. So you've given up, you know, you're, you're pulled from pillar to post, your day can be very, very busy and you have the best intention. It's just not quite working out for you. I empathize with you, which is why I've sort of tried to make this mid-year review really, really simple um, to check in. But then, but then if there's one thing I can ask you to do is actually ask yourself about that one thing. I've got to the middle of the year. I haven't actually achieved my goals. I still want to have a successful year. There is one thing. We all have the one thing that we can do. And what I would urge you to do is coupled with what you, what's, what you are good at, what's working well from a habit standpoint, what gives you energy, what's not working so well. If you can then tie in, okay, if I can just do this one thing, whether it's developing a particular relationship with, with somebody, whether it's your a health goal, you know, that's a, that's a big one, whether it's a deal in the business, if there's one thing that you can do by the time you get to December 31st, that would actually uh, change the course of your year. And all of a sudden now you've had a successful year where maybe in the first half of the year, it wasn't so, it didn't feel so successful. The, the, the last prompt question, which I think is, is important to understand and always keep in mind is, you know, who are you going to disappoint if you do not succeed in the second half of the year. So if you don't have a great year, there is someone that you're letting down or there are a group of people that you're letting down. Keep those people in mind because sometimes we can have our head buried, our head buried in the sand. We can think about ourselves too much and we're potentially sometimes missing the bigger picture in the fact that when you do well, other people do well. And that's usually the case with a lot of people that achieve. I've actually got two more questions, uh, prompt questions. I think the other thing that's important to try and maybe spell out is what do you think that you are missing in order to achieve your goals? Is it information? Is it, is it potentially accountability partner? Think about maybe bringing on accountability partner for the second half of the year that maybe you can pay a small fee. Someone that you're checking in with every week just to let that person know how you're tracking. Because actually what you do is you provide that person an opportunity to be a good sounding board for you that can ask really, really good questions. And that accountability partner could actually be anyone that actually has an invested interest in wanting to see you do really well. The last thing I'd probably say is maybe it's a good opportunity if you are in that 90% of people that have probably gave up, you know, midway through the first half is, ident have you, can you identify someone that's really good at achieving their goals and maybe pick their brains? So if you can get a 10, 15 minute call, there is something that the individual is doing that is working out well for them that can really help and make a difference. Very last section that I, that I will share to, to sort of conclude this mid-year check-in as a point of reflection is very, very big component to actually realizing success is are you measuring your progress? So let's say, for example, you've gone through those questions, you, you're energized now, you feel empowered, you've got your one thing, you know what gives you, what gives you energy, you know what's not working well, and you've cut off a lot of things, but you've got a very, very clear uh, plan from now to the end of the year just by listening to those five to 10 minutes from me talking. You would need to track your progress. So what I would basically say to you is, you have to find a way to take your goals and break them down to KPIs, which lead you to the overall goals. I'd recommend using a spreadsheet, you know, so that you can actually personalize this spreadsheet so it only speaks to you. There are apps like mobile apps like Strides, which you can use, which you can plug in and, and actually then, you know, on a daily basis, track how well you're doing. But it's very, very, very important to have some sort of tracking system. 
Because if you lack the data, then it becomes very difficult to make decisions where you need to make changes. So I personally, you know, have a spreadsheet where I track the data or the KPIs that are important to me in order to reach my goals. And I know other people around me that I also consider to be high performers also do the same. And I also believe that your pursuit towards your personal goals are no different than a corporation trying to achieve a certain sales target by the end of the year or a sports team trying to win the championship. They invest a lot of time in tracking and ensuring that they have the right amount of information that they need to make the right decision to get towards uh, their goals. I'd recommend you tracking everything possible. Good habits, bad habits. Keep your awareness as high as possible to give yourself the best chance of getting towards the end of the year. So that's it. The mid-year review is not supposed to be a lengthy process. It's really just to remind you that, look, we've got six months to go. There is still a lot of time for you to realize the success that you want to realize. But there are some prompt questions within this episode that maybe can help you think a little bit differently about where you are right now. One simple one could be maybe at the start of the year, you had too many goals. That that, that tends to be an issue. You had too many goals, cut them down. Two, three, maybe even one, go for it and make a difference because there are people that are counting on you. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you think it will be beneficial for someone else also to listen to, please share it. I think it's very, very important that we try to get the best out of ourselves and reach our full potential whilst we still have a lot of time from now to the end of the year. And with that, I look forward to you joining us on the next episode, 192. And in the meantime, if you've got any questions, please feel free to reach out to me personally on Instagram, first name and second name, or reach out to us or on Take Flight Podcast um, IG. You you know, any questions around this episode, I'll be available to to, um, provide my thoughts and feedback. Take off, take flight.